Welcome to the wacky world of classic car door designs. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the doors that make us all say, what the fender? We've scoured the car world to bring you the most unusual, the most unique, and the most head-scratching door designs ever to grace four wheels. From the sky-high gullwing doors to the you've got to be kidding me suicide doors, we've got it all. So buckle up, grab your keys, and let's open the doors to the wildest ride of your life. Gullwing Doors Gullwing doors are an iconic feature of many classic cars, famous for their unique design and impressive style. These doors swing open upwards and outwards, resembling the shape of a seagull's wings in flight. Gullwing doors were first introduced on the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL in the 1950s and have since become synonymous with sports cars and high-performance vehicles. One of the most impressive things about Gullwing doors is how they function. The doors are hinged at the roof line, and when opened, they provide a large, unobstructed entryway into the car. This makes it easy to get in and out of the car, even in tight spaces or low-ceiling garages. If you're lucky enough to own a car with gullwing doors, you'll quickly discover that they're a real conversation starter. People can't help but be impressed by the sight of these doors swinging open, revealing the sleek interior of your classic vehicle. And when you're behind the wheel, you'll feel like a true driving enthusiast with a sense of style and flair that's unmatched by other vehicles. In conclusion, gullwing doors are a truly remarkable design feature that have stood the test of time. They continue to be a sought-after feature in classic and modern sports cars and will undoubtedly be a source of fascination for car enthusiasts for generations to come. So if you're looking for a car that combines practicality and style, look no further than a car with gullwing doors. You won't be disappointed. Butterfly doors. Well, 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 look what we have here. Another classic car door design to gawk at. Butterfly doors. Yep, you heard that right. Butterfly doors. I mean, who doesn't want their car to resemble a butterfly in some way, right? But let's get down to business. Butterfly doors, also known as vertical doors, are a type of car door that opens vertically just like scissor doors, but with a slight twist. The doors pivot on two hinges that are placed toward the center of the roof, so when the doors open, they look like a butterfly spreading its wings. How lovely! This design was first introduced in the early 1950s on the Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale, but it wasn't until the late 90s that the design started gaining popularity. And why not? Who wouldn't want their car to look like a giant butterfly flapping its wings every time they got in and out? Mm. But here's the catch. Butterfly doors are not only expensive to install, but also impractical. They make getting in and out of a car a hassle, especially in tight parking spaces or low ceiling garages. Plus, they require more maintenance than regular car doors, which can add to the already hefty cost of owning a classic car. Suicide doors. Suicide doors, also known as rear hinge doors, are a type of car door design that has been used on many classic cars over the years. The unique feature of these doors is that they're hinged at the rear, opening in the opposite direction to conventional car doors. This design was first introduced in the early 1900s and became popular in the 1930s and 1940s on luxury cars such as the Lincoln Continental and the Rolls-Royce. One of the benefits of suicide doors is the ease of entry and exit, particularly for rear passengers, as they provide greater access to the interior of the car. They also add a touch of style and sophistication to the vehicle's overall design. However, they've also been criticized for being less safe, as they can be difficult to close properly, which may result in the doors flying open while the car is in motion. Overall, suicide doors have become a symbol of classic car design and continue to be used today in some modern cars, such as the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Despite their unique design, they remain a controversial feature in the automotive industry. Scissor doors. Have you ever heard of scissor doors? Well, they're a type of car door that opens vertically and resembles a pair of scissors, hence the name. Scissor doors are a unique and unusual design that can be found on many classic cars, such as Lamborghinis, DeLoreans, and the infamous McLaren F1. So, how do scissor doors work? Instead of opening outward like regular car doors, scissor doors are hinged at the front and swing upward towards the roof, giving passengers plenty of space to get in and out of the car. This type of door design not only adds a touch of style and exclusivity to a vehicle, but also allows for easier access in tight parking spaces. The concept of scissor doors was initially introduced in the early 1960s, but it wasn't until the Lamborghini Countach of the 1970s that they became popular. 
The Countach is often cited as the car that made Cisadors famous, and is still considered one of the most iconic cars to feature this type of door design. We hope you enjoyed our journey through some of the most unusual classic car door designs. We're thankful for all the innovative car designers out there who are pushing the limits and creating these wild and wacky designs. And we're thankful for you, our viewers. So, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting content.